Well, welcome back. When we see playgrounds like this, we immediately think of children laughing, playing, and having a good time. I mean, after all, that's what playgrounds were made for. They were made for children. But there's something else that was made for children, something much more important than simply a playground and having fun. And that's that children are to be obedient to their parents. It's not a bad thing, it's a good thing. You know, Jesus, who was the perfect, holy Son of God, lived a perfect life, was still submissive to his earthly parents. After his parents had found him in the temple, learning from the religious leaders of the day and asking them questions, it says this, Then he went down with them and came to Nazareth and was subject to them. The Greek tense here shows that Jesus was continually subject to his parents. That's the way he lived. Colossians 3.20, our verse for today says, Children, obey your parents in all things, for this is well-pleasing to the Lord. You know, we've all gotten in trouble for disobeying our parents. Perhaps we stayed at the playground too long. We all have to live and we all have to learn and we have to grow and mature. But as a standard, as a rule, we should be obedient to our parents when we're kids. Back when God led the Hebrews out of Egypt and gave them the law through Moses, kids were still kids. And some were very, rebe very rebellious. But a rebellious child who would not submit to their parents' authority was a very serious problem that God simply wouldn't tolerate among the Hebrew people. Deuteronomy 21.18 says this, and this was under the law given to the Hebrew people. It may sound really strange to someone living in America today, but here's what it says. It says, if a man has a stubborn and rebellious child who will not obey the voice of his father or the voice of his mother, and who when they have chastened him, that means they've corrected him, they've punished him for what he's done, he will not heed them. Then his father and mother shall take hold of him and bring him out to the elders of the city and to the gate of the city. And they shall to the, say to the elders of the city, The son of ours is stubborn and rebellious. He will not obey our voice. He is a glutton and a drunkard. Then all of the men of his city shall stone him to death with stones. Well, man, you say, that's so extreme. That's crazy. And of course, we're not under law. We don't practice such things today in our country. Matter of fact, it's illegal. But I think it puts into perspective just how important to God it is that children obey and submit to their parents. How do you think other kids in the neighborhood might have reacted once they saw one of their friends being stoned for being rebellious? Well, I can, I can guarantee you how they acted. They straightened up. You know, it set an example and it set the bar high and you didn't want to risk being rebellious because you knew the punishment and the consequences of it. You know, we've seen the results in our culture of rebellion where kids aren't corrected and they're not submissive to their parents and it gets out of control when there's no consequences it grows faster and faster and it spreads rebellion is very serious and in first samuel 15 23 the bible says for rebellion is of the sin of witchcraft that's pretty serious and stubbornness is an iniquity and idolatry a rebellious heart guys is at odd with god's and it will bring about god's judgment so don't play with rebellion that's for the playground. That's where you play at. But you don't play when it comes to being submissive to your parents. Your parents aren't perfect. You may be saying, well, you don't know what my dad's like. You don't know what my mother's like. Well, God does, and he still said that we are to obey and to honor our parents. Doesn't mean you all always agree, but as you get older, you will realize that most, if not all, the things your parents are telling you are probably for your best interest and for the good. God bless you. You know what? One day, kid, you're going to grow up, and you're going to be an authority. And I hope you will learn to be the kind of person who submitted to authority and honors your parents and honored God. And then maybe God will give you the opportunity to be in a great position of authority one day. Who knows, maybe even being president of this great country. God bless you. We'll see you back here tomorrow on Swordbox. Tell a kid to tune in. Bye-bye.